Okay, <clears throat> here's a good uh, problem. Here's a good example. All right. Uh, a 20 kilogram rod is released from rest when theta is equal to zero. Now, this one was a little bit more, uh, I think, probably more difficult to s visualize. But you got to visualize where it's starting and where it's ending. It's released from rest when theta is equal to zero. Theta is the distance to vertical. So here it's starting. It's starting right here. This is the initial. So it's starting right here. The spring is stretched all the way down there. Now determine its angular velocity when theta is equal to 90. So here is the final right here. Here's the final. Okay, we're using conservation of energy. Potential plus kinetic plus non-conserved work equals potential plus kinetic. Each of these has two or could have two terms. I like, I'm going to go ahead and write out the whole thing. MGH initial plus one half KX squared initial plus one half MV squared. Okay, it started from rest. I think we're good enough that when it starts from rest, then that all that kinetic energy is zero. Uh, plus FD plus M theta equals MGH final plus one half KX squared final plus one half MV squared final plus one half I omega squared final. All right. So at its initial position, uh, and let me remind myself here, this is the height of G, uh, the height of G, the velocity of G, the I of G. Now, MGH, initial and MGH final. Here is point G right here. Here is point G. Uh, what if I say that, that, that it ends at zero? Let me get, put this as my zero location, my zero height. Then that would mean it started, if, if this is two meters long, one meter below, it started at negative one. So I'm going to say the mass of 20, gravity 9.81, height of negative one meters. All right. Now this uh, spring... Uh, what is its length? What is its length initially? What is its length initially? Initially, it goes over two and down one, and the length of this is two. So over two by three. So two squared plus three squared would give me 3.6 as my length. That's not what I'm plugging in here for this x. What am I going to plug in for my x? The unstretched length is 0.5. Its current length is 3.6. So I'm going to plug in 3.1, right? So 1 half k of 100, an x, 3.1 squared. All right. Are there any f, d's, or m thetas in this problem that are either drawn on here or a rope, like a cable that is acting a distance? No. All right. So, in its final position, up here, its final position up here, we said its height is going to be zero. The spring, all right, now what is the spring? The spring is attached right here, attached right here. This is two meters, this is two meters, so it is just perfectly vertical right here. It, is, it has a length of one, that would mean its amount of stretch is one minus 0.5, so 0.5. It is stretched by 0.5 from its original length. 1 half, 100.5 squared, plus uh, 1 half mvg squared, plus 1 half, all right, and what is the I of a um, rod, a slender rod, at its middle, point G, is 1 twelfth ml total length squared, omega squared, and then is velocity of g related to, to omega? Yes, v e oh. yes, v equals r omega, so how far is point g from the center of rotation? Here, uh, don't overthink this, the center of rotation is right here, right? It is pinned right there at, uh, it's labeled point a, it is pinned at point a, so point g is point one, point one,
away. So plug in 0.1 omega right there. Be sure to square the 0.1 and square the omega and solve for omega. 4.53 radians per second. Counterclockwise. Just visually, I could tell that it's counterclockwise. All right, should we look back over here? It was conservation of energy. I, I put that in my conservation of energy equation. Thought about, okay, remember this is point G, point G, point G, point G. What's the height of point G, initial, final? I think this one, just visualizing where it started initially down here and where it ended right here. And think about that spring. Where is that spring initially? That spring initially is stretched uh, that hypotenuse you know that location right here and then find all this spring is just right here remember plug in the x the x is the amount of stretch or compression not the actual length of the spring it's just the amount of stretch or compression of the spring